Hello and welcome to day two of our Travel Trader Challenge. Today I want to talk a little bit about you what happened in the markets. First of all, I had a few currency trades open from uh, over New Year, which I opened uh, basically on the 31st of December. So they now kind of expired and I want to give you the results first. So US dollar, Singapore dollar, we had a short position. It went down nicely. Eventually we got stopped out in a pullback and we made 1047 euro and 30 cents on it. The next thing that I was trading was a long position in British pound and US dollar again. And uh, we got stopped out very early at 133.92. Basically it was my fault because I put the stop loss too narrow, otherwise we could have made a lot more money. Anyway, these things happen so as long as we are earning money, I guess we are still happy. Next one, US dollar Canadian dollar got stopped out today. We made 827.02 uh, euro on it. Uh, as the trading account is in euro, all the numbers I give you are converted in euro again and uh, then we had one losing trade euro japanese yen where we lost 1079.63 euro a little bit more when we wanted we had our stop loss at thousand euro but as it happened during the night we didn't get filled uh, immediately so we had a little bit more than we actually expected due to conversion rates with the japanese yen so the intention was to maximum uh, lose thousand euro by now we are up around 1000 euro. I wouldn't count it as they were already opened in the last year and we had a fresh start at January 1st. So our first official trade, we got a signal this morning is a long position in the NASDAQ. I checked it just before I went on the video and we were up 504 US dollar. So we are in a long position and uh, we will see how it goes. If our signal is still intact, we might hold it for several days. Otherwise, I will close it somewhere during the day and I will give you the update tomorrow. So what I want to do with you today is basically as uh, we are approaching a new year and everyone is into New Year's resolution, I will have a new year suggestion or a suggestion for resolution for you and I will call it the Fiverr Challenge. So basically, it's very nice that if you have all these trades and you get started, but uh, what you want to uh, do is uh, before you really trade is to make sure to get into a habit that you build some assets and you build some money so you can get started and therefore i thought about a fiber challenge so i will challenge you to basically uh, pay as much as possible in cash and every time you get a fiber back you're not allowed to spend that anymore rather than spending it you take it and you put it away and let's see how many fibers you can get over one year's period i'm already looking forward to all the pictures of piles of fibers however getting into that habit you will realize that it first of all makes a lot of fun second of all you put more and more money away and then you can use that money to invest into assets to trade the stock market or whatever asset it is that you're choosing but this is a fun and nice way to get started and i thought it's a good idea to start now at the new year immediately at the beginning and we will see how many fibers we can get now that was a five british pounds uh, note of course uh, not everyone is in the uk i'm not in the uk either but i didn't have a five euro note with me only get uh, 20s or something but you can play the same game everywhere wherever you are if you're in australia you might want to take and make it a tenor challenge and you want to do it and play the game with 10 Australian dollars, you can stick with 20 if you wanted to. If you are watching us from Ghana, you can do the same thing with CDs. So you can take a 10 or 20 CD note, put that away and to build your first cash. So you get into investing and you get into the habit of uh, putting away some money for investment purposes. If you're South Africa, watching us from South Africa, you can use South African rent. If you're watching us from your Romania, you can use a 50 lay. Uh, note so that's a very nice one actually and if you are from uh, indonesia you can use the 5000 rupee note obviously the indonesian rupee is not that valuable so the numbers get bigger wherever you are in the world you can use five us dollars of course if you're watching us from the us the most important thing for you is that you get started and that you make it a habit so keep on it consistently every day Put away that money so you are able to invest trade the stock markets and throughout the year when you get more and more knowledge on it you will be able to trade things on your own and to make money from that as well 
As we were talking about getting started, I will now get started preparing a conference call with my mentoring students and we will do some trading during the US market sessions today. And I'll see you again tomorrow in the next video. So have a great day and see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.